From towering aspirations to colossal mistakes, the world of construction has seen its fair share of mind-blowing accomplishments and costly failures. In today's video, we'll take you on a journey through the annals of architectural history, where ambition collided with reality, resulting in some of the most expensive construction mistakes ever made. But before we continue, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our content. Number 4. Jeddah Tower, Saudi Arabia Jeddah Tower, formerly known as the Kingdom Tower, is located in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. The $1.2 billion Saudi Arabian skyscraper was expected to become the first kilometer-high structure, surpassing the Burj Khalifa and elevating the city of Jeddah to a status comparable to Dubai. To put the building's scale into perspective, Jeddah Tower would be taller than two Empire State Buildings stacked on top of one another. The skyscraper was supposed to be an integral part of Saudi Arabia's efforts to diversify its economy away from oil and toward tourism. Construction of the Jeddah Tower began in 2013 and was planned to be completed by 2018. However, the 2017 Saudi Arabian purge prompted significant construction issues, and work on the structure was suspended with only a third of the tower finished. Prince Al-Walid bin Talal and other significant supporters of the project were imprisoned by the Saudi Arabian government. Construction remained halted, and there was no set completion date once the investors were freed a few months later. Construction of the tower topped out at a height of 252 meters. The COVID-19 pandemic caused further delays for the construction, which restarted in 2020 for safety reasons. Since then, little progress on the construction has been made. Although it may yet be feasible to transform this extremely tall concrete pile into the tallest building in the world, work is currently being delayed by the difficulties associated with funding, politics, and extreme engineering. As of today, Jeddah Tower remains incomplete and abandoned at a height of 300 meters and has cost Saudi Arabia millions of dollars. Number 3. Neom's The Line, Arabian Desert The Line is a vertical city currently being built in the northwestern part of the Arabian Desert. Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman announced the ambitious megaproject in 2017 as part of Vision 2030, which also includes Sindala, a luxury island destination in the Red Sea, promising the finest experiences life has to offer. Trojena, an iconic world-class mountain destination blending natural and developed landscapes, Oxagon, a new floating city and industrial hub of Neom, and many other projects. The line is a proposed 500-meter tall, 170-kilometer long linear city that will start on the coast and stretch inland. It's intended to be a carbon-neutral and pedestrian-centric utopia with a focus on technical innovation and sustainability. It aims to present a new model for urban living. The line will be totally powered by renewable energy sources, leaving no carbon footprint whatsoever. It seeks to integrate a range of advanced technologies, including robotics, artificial intelligence, and cutting-edge transportation systems. Everyday amenities will be within a five-minute walk from anywhere along the city's linear axis. Prince Mohammed bin Salman predicted that the total investment for the Neom project would be $500 billion when it was first unveiled in 2017. However, some experts believe that the line's total cost will be closer to $1 trillion, with $500 billion provided by the Saudi Public Investment Fund and the other $500 billion by private investors. The line has drawn both praise and criticism. Proponents of the project believe that the line has the potential to diversify Saudi Arabia's economy, draw foreign investment, generate jobs, and encourage innovation. On the other hand, critics have raised concerns about the feasibility and sustainability of such a massive project. Others raise worries about the environmental impact and the relocation of local residents, 
while some contend that the scope and cost of the line are unfeasible. Saudi Arabia's construction track record isn't the brightest. Many of the kingdom's projects have been abandoned or not built at all after being announced. Construction projects like the Jeddah Tower and five mega projects planned in 2005 were announced but never finished. The biggest hurdle for projects like Neom's The Line is funding. According to research, Saudi Arabia has had little success in luring financial support and investment from other governments and businesses. Even if the line were to get past the funding stage, convincing 9 million people to live in a vertical city in the middle of the Arabian desert can be a daunting task. The line is scheduled to be completed by 2030, and little progress has been made to date. While it's difficult to definitively claim that Neom's The Line is doomed to fail, several factors raise concerns about its potential for success. If not careful, the line can end up on Saudi Arabia's list of failed construction projects and cost the government billions of dollars. Number 2. Eastern Span Replacement of the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge, California Every day, more than 270,000 vehicles commute between Oakland and Yerba Buena Island, crossing 3.5 kilometers of water on the 10-lane San Francisco Bay Bridge. A bridge with this much traffic must have been built using the highest safety standards. That was the general consensus until an earthquake brought to light many of the bridge's structural flaws. On October 17, 1989, Loma Prieta, an earthquake with a magnitude of 6.9 on the Richter scale, partially destroyed the Bay Bridge. City officials had to address structural problems and restore the bridge's safety. Retrofitting the bridge and fixing the damage, however, was deemed to be too expensive. Instead, San Francisco officials made the decision to redesign the entire bridge. It took 10 years to come to an agreement on a new design. A panel decided that a self-anchored bridge would look better and would be used to replace the eastern span. Unfortunately, the difficulty of building this kind of bridge turned out to be a costly mistake. In 2013, just a few years after the opening of the new span, several stability rods snapped, necessitating component repair or refurbishment of parts. Instead of using barriers, they chose to utilize guardrails, although these would corrode over time. The misalignment of several of the deck's components comprised the structure of the bridge. As a result of the poor welding, a thorough investigation and multiple costly adjustments had to be made. The eastern section of the Bay Bridge, which took 11 years to construct and is currently California's most expensive infrastructure project, may be replaced by the state's new high-speed train. The project's total cost was estimated to be $6.5 billion. That's more than a six-fold increase from the initial budget of $1 billion. Number 1. Berlin-Brandenburg Airport, Germany Berlin-Brandenburg Airport is an international airport in Germany. When construction began in 2006, the project was originally scheduled to cost around 2.4 billion euros and begin operation in 2011. However, what followed were years of delays caused by embarrassing failures and corruption. Consequently, the construction deadlines could not be met in any way. The first delay occurred in 2010, about one year before the original opening date, when the bankruptcy of an involved planning company was announced. Further delays happened due to non-compliant fire protection requirements, but not just that. The airport also failed the acceptance test required to operate as an airport. In addition, a total of 67 kilometers of cooling pipes without thermal insulation were installed to solve this mistake. Dozens of walls were torn down and the pipes were replaced. Due to the extensive delays and subsequent modifications required to meet safety regulations and address other issues, the final cost of the airport exceeded 7.3 billion euros. The airport officially began to operate on October 31st, 2020, 14 years after the originally planned opening date. However, that is not the end of the airport's failure. 
The COVID-19 pandemic further exacerbated the financial situation for many airports worldwide, including Berlin Brandenburg Airport. Now, the main concern is whether the airport can turn a profit, even if it chooses to pursue private investment. The airport's long-delayed opening has resulted in a unique set of issues. Some predict that extra funding will be required to avoid bankruptcy. The greatest construction mistakes in history are stark reminders of the difficulties and complexities involved in creating the world we live in today. Remember, progress is built on both triumphs and setbacks, and by embracing the lessons of the past, we can construct a more remarkable and secure future. So, what are your thoughts? Which mega project was the biggest construction mistake? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.